road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, what you say? Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't you treat me so mean. You're the meanest old woman that I've ever seen. I guess it. I'm dancing on clouds and I'm nine feet high. It's mom and dad's anniversary. Uh, oh, man. Nobody knows <laughs> the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows the grief. Uh -oh. It's just about time for the obligatory How We Met story for the 18th time. Run, go, go, kids! <laughs> Kids, would you like to hear the lovely story of how Daddy and I first met? No. no. Well, you're gonna sit down. <laughs> it was in a lovely little romantic spot. All the girls in the bar were looking at Daddy. I tell you, I didn't know I was with a transvestite. <laughs> I thought it was just a really tall girl with a beard. I swear it. Wait, all right, I know what happened. That guy was you, right, Mom? No one here loves you or thinks you're funny. Let's just move this thing along here. Mom, when did you realize Daddy was the right guy for you? Oh, there is no right guy, honey. There's just a weak guy in the right moment. You see, all my best friends were already married. As a matter of fact, I'd been to two weddings earlier that day and I was still wearing the lime green bridesmaid's dress and clutching the two bouquets I had wrestled away from Susie Faruka. <laughs> I vowed the next bridal shower I went to would be my own. So I went down to the college bar, the drunken savant. <laughs> and my eyes met the most handsome man in the bar. He went home with daddy's transvestite and I went home with daddy. <laughs> Anyway, by the time I sobered up, it was all over. The Trojan was on my big toe and the deed was done. That was me. You? Yes, it was. You swam harder and faster than anyone else. So, where do you think you'd be if you two hadn't met, Danny? Oh, I'd still be with my mommy. Yeah. My mommy made me dinner every night at 5.30. <laughs> she brought me juice every morning. I had clean laundry. I had a Farrah Fawcett poster on my wall and a lock on my door. I had everything, damn it. I want my mommy. Well, she didn't want you. Well, at least not as much as she wanted that rodeo clown. Oh, honey. Now, where are you going to take me for our anniversary? This year, I'll let you pick the restaurant. Really? No. Oh. I've already decided. The House of Hollywood. What? Why there? Why? Yeah. Because we live this close to Hollywood, and I've never even seen a celebrity. Except for Ann Bancroft in the supermarket once. She was just an old woman in house slippers buying Metamucil for Mel. <laughs> Wouldn't even put down the Inquirer long enough to give me an autograph. Well, excuse me, your royal hiney. I don't know. That house of Hollywood is pretty fancy, and it's awful expensive. Oh. Uh, I guess we can go. <laughs> yay, Daddy! Kids, save your yay daddies for Domino's, because that's where you'll be eating. Wait a second. If anyone deserves to go to the house of Hollywood, it is I. I mean, who is it that reads Buzz, Premiere, Movie Line, Variety, The Hollywood Reporter, and goes to the same dentist that does Mel Gibson? <laughs> One time. When Mel was sedated, the dentist let me scrape his tartar. <laughs> I 
love showbiz. I just love it. Well, all right, honey, I guess I can take you. What the hell you don't eat anyway? <laughs> hey, Floppy, see what you can do with this tie, will you? Ah, yeah, you got magic hands here, Mr. Floppy. Magic hands. <laughs> and little Drew Barrymore, you should see what I can do with my feet. <laughs> so where are you going for your anniversary, Jack? Uh, nowhere. Just go down to the corner deli and have a bologna sandwich. <laughs> no, really. Where are you going, Jack? I'm not going to get mad. I'm not a jealous person. I just like to know things. Well, nowhere special. We're all just gonna go over to the... We're all? Who's we're all? Just Jenny and me. We're all is not you and Jenny. The kids are going too, aren't they? The accident, the girl, and the mistake. <laughs> I just want to know where I stand, that's all. Somewhere after the dogs, isn't it? Are the dogs going? Come <laughs> on, get off it. How am I gonna take the dogs into the house of Hollywood? <laughs> Hollywood, owned by the stars, attended by the stars, overcharged for a hamburger by the stars. <laughs> I want to see the celebrities, Jack. It's not fair. I love the stars. I love seeing them casual, private, personal. I want to see Stallone because I think I'm taller than he is. <laughs> I know I'm taller than Charlie Sheehan and have more expressions than Steven Seagal. <laughs> Him. Take me along, Jack. Maybe Drew will be at the House of Hollywood. If she wants to take me home, you'll understand, won't you, Jack? She'll notice me from across the room. Our glazed over plastic eyes will meet. It'll be as if no one else is in the room. She'll dance with me. Okay, Flappy, I understand, because I have fantasies, too. <laughs> Mommy, can I have my juice now? Of course, sweetheart. <laughs> now, where are you going to find a woman like me? Sit up straight! <laughs> Just sick. <laughs> well, let's see. Did you call for reservations? Absolutely. Dr. Jack Malloy. <laughs> well, it'll be just a few minutes. Please wait at the back of the line. <laughs> Dr. Waldo Lifowitz. Here. <laughs> Dr. Zamost. <laughs> the Dr. DiBetetto party. Here. I know our gardener was a doctor. Right this way, Mr. Malloy. Uh, that would be Dr. Malloy. I bought my car from you, Dr. Malloy. Or don't you remember me from small claims court? Oh, yes, the Flaming Vega affair, yes. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't believe we're here. <laughs> Where are the celebrities? I can't believe there's not one single celebrity in this whole place. <clears throat> Excuse me. Could you pass the salt? I need some on my chips. Yeah. I hope it's not raining because I 
forgot to bring my poncho. And, and I'm riding my motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. Yeah, that's great, buddy. Oh, are you somebody? Yes, I'm Guy Babone. Oh, oh, here, 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 here. Sign this. What do you do? I'm your waiter. Oh. <laughs> but I will be a famous actor one day. Yeah. Look, De Niro, could you get us some bread pronto, please? <laughs> hey, as long as you're here, I might as well order for everyone. Uh, we'll have one steak to split, one baked potato, one salad, and a lot of forks. <laughs> hey, those people over there are done and they left half a chicken. Bring that over here. <laughs> for you, honey. Happy anniversary. Hey, not so fast there, Babone. I'll have, a uh, steak. As rare as your chances for stardom. I'll have a steak, too. Burr, like your look. <laughs> and I'll have a steak served searing hot, just like a Guy Babone performance. <laughs> uh, how much is the kitty meal? It's two ninety-five. It'll be one kitty meal. And for the milk, I'd like to substitute a scotch on the rocks. And for the, uh, for the hot dog, I'll substitute another scotch on the rocks. One kitty meal coming up. I sent the kids for souvenirs. It's just you and me. Happy anniversary, honey. Uh, anniversary, you say? A rose for the lovely lady? Uh, <laughs> I would, but I'm with my wife. <laughs> Check this out, Dad. House of Hollywood salt and pepper shakers for only a hundred bucks. Check this out, son. House of Hollywood salt and pepper shakers. For nothing. <laughs> What's wrong? You haven't touched your food. Some big star could walk by at any minute. I don't want to have my mouth full of food when Brad Pitt walks up and says, I love you. Let's go to Paris. You'll never see your family again. <laughs> what is it with girls and stars? Stars are, well, they're like royalty. They have a, a quiet dignity that sets them apart. Vroom, vroom. Excuse me, miss. If anybody bothers you, you let me know. And I'll punch them out. Look, it's Eric Estrada. Okay. <laughs> that guy's talking to his menu like Daddy talks to his bunny. Yeah. Don't make any eye contact, no sudden movement. We'll just ease out of here and go back to Mom and Dad. <laughs> Look, it's Eric Estrada. <laughs> cool boots, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Eric Estrada's in the house. It's Eric Estrada, he looks great. Ooh, I don't see a single celebrity. Yep, it's just a bunch of pathetic people sitting around hoping to see a celebrity. I'm bored. Hey, I know. Let's do what we do when we go to see a bad movie. Let's play. Hey, hey Ryan. Ryan. Huh? <laughs> hey, Ryan. That girl over there is looking at you. Really? Yeah. Wow. I didn't even see her looking at me. <laughs> oh, oh, you see, girls can't be obvious like guys. No, honey, she looks at you and then turns away. Oh, she's looking at you again! <laughs> I missed it again, huh? Yeah. Son, why don't you go over there and say hello to her? That's what she really wants. I don't know, I mean, she's with a guy. A pretty big one, too. <laughs> you think if she really cared anything about that big guy, she'd be looking at you that way? <laughs> I guess I not. No. Oh. Should I go talk to him? Go yeah. All right, I'll go talk to him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
I think you were wrong. Our mistake. Sure. What a fool me. <laughs> Hey, hey, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> that other girl is looking at you. Which one? The one in the army fatigues? No, the girl with her. <laughs> Should I go talk to her? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll right. go. Hey. I think she was looking at me. Oh. Well, no harm. Hey, hey Ryan. Ryan. Now that girl over there is looking at you. This time, I'm sure. Go on over there and talk to her. Should I go talk to her? Oh, you yeah. bet. Yes. Oh wait. Hold on. Ooh, better. Yes. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go talk. Go ahead. Thelma, I swear, if one more creepazoid hits on me, I'm gonna lose it. I saw you looking at me. <laughs> Tiffany and I are going to the bathroom to see if there's celebrities in there. Mm. You know what? We're gonna go to the bathroom too, Dad. What for? Dad, we're guys. We just finished a big meal. Use your imagination. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> what did I miss? You missed a game of Hey Ryan. Damn! <laughs> I love that game. Oh well. Hey Jack, that girl is looking at you. <laughs> Everyone in the place is looking at me. <laughs> I am not crazy. Stop staring or we will kill you all. <laughs> Where is everybody? In the bathroom. Guys will be back in a minute. Girls will be back in about an hour. <laughs> what is it that girls do in the bathroom for so long anyway, Floppy? They get fanned, they get a massage, then they strip down to nothing except for high heels and dance around, admiring each other's supple bosoms. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought they did. No wonder it takes them so long. Can't say I blame them, though. No. Hell, if I was a woman, I'd be staring at myself all day long, too. <laughs> I'd just get a full-length mirror and finally figure out how to please one of them. <laughs> so, House of Hollywood at last. Mm -hmm. And no Drew. Am I to be eternally disappointed in love? Am I to simply pine and yearn and never know the... Uh -oh. <laughs> Struck out in the bathroom, not one single celebrity. Oh, I'm so sorry, officer. I could have sworn those were Tippy Hedren's ankles. Well, I have to say, I was impressed by the way you ripped the door off that stall and shouted, We love your work! <laughs> Whoever she was, at least she said thank you. Mm. Well, we did get some great information. The bathroom was a buzz. They say David Caruso is in the men's room. Go in there, Jack. Strike up a conversation at the urinal. Yeah. I don't think so. You don't want to shake hands with a guy at a urinal. Oh, Daddy, please.
please, please, please go to the bathroom. But I could care less about David Caruso. <laughs> Fine. I guess we'll just have to make our own fun. Hey, Ryan. Huh? That girl over there's looking at you. I've had it with you people, okay? You can play Hey Ryan with Ross. What a spoiled sport. <laughs> Since when is it so wrong to make fun of your own son? Hey, Ross. Bite me. Well, we didn't see one single celebrity, and I didn't get one single autograph from my book. Look. I'm Eric Estrada, and I was the star of the television show Chips. Yeah! Room, room. Ah! It is! It is you! I you! Sign my book, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> Why can't you people just leave me alone? Feel the magnetism of that Eric LaMotta. <laughs> Boy, once you know somebody's a celebrity, it's so much easier to see just how special they are. Mom, guess who I'm in bed with? David Caruso. <laughs> Well, Brandon, I have a series in development. It's about two cops. One is a womanizing, wisecracking, sex-crazed bunny who doesn't go by the book. The partner's not too important. Hey, Floppy, I love the script, but am I the bunny? Just stay there and look beautiful. <laughs> 